Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Christine and I talk about topics related to immigration, permanent residency, and life in Canada. But before I start, if you do find this video helpful, please do like and subscribe to my channel for more information about migrating to Canada. So, have you thought of pursuing your Canadian dream but can't decide if you will apply for Express Entry or Student Pathway? Is taking Student Pathway better than Express Entry? Or are you eligible for Express Entry but you're confused about whether to take the Student Pathway instead? In this video, I wish to help you get unstuck. I'm not an immigration expert, so I won't give any professional advice, but I'm going to show you the pros and cons of each pathway. So, let's get this started. In case you're not familiar with these two pathways, let me just give you a clear and better description in a nutshell. Express Entry and Student Pathway are one of the many ways to immigrate to Canada. Express Entry is an online system that Canada uses to manage applications to its immigration programs. For a better picture, Express Entry is a direct route to becoming a permanent resident here in Canada. Meaning, once you get approved, you automatically receive your permanent residence visa, which enables you to move, settle, and retire in Canada for good. Then you can apply to become a Canadian citizen after three years. Sounds exciting, right? If you're interested to learn about my Express Entry journey, you may watch this video. Or for more detailed steps about Express Entry and Student Pathway eligibility, you can visit Detour to Canada for further information. Don't miss the chance to access the website link below. I'm telling you, it's a life changer for aspiring applicants. So moving on, Student Pathway is a stepping stone that some aspiring immigrants can explore for a better chance of becoming a Canadian permanent resident. The Student Pathway is not an official immigration pathway. If you're not eligible to immigrate here in Canada through the Express Entry Program, then you might consider the Student Pathway. But keep in mind that this pathway comes with few stopovers. First stop over, you come to Canada as an international student and you should take a program that are eligible for postgraduate work permits in any of the designated learning institutions. Second stop or second stop over, after you graduate, you will need to work in Canada and gain at least one year of skilled work experience. And once eligible, you can start applying for PR either through the Express Entry or the other immigration programs for international student graduates. People would always ask me, is the student pathway actually better than express entry? It could be better or worse depending on your situation, plans, and goals. As I've mentioned earlier, the student pathway is not an official immigration pathway. If you take the student pathway to come to Canada, you still need to take the express entry later on or to the other programs related to immigration. So student pathway is not actually better but the faster way to come to Canada than express entry. So in other words, the student pathway is a shortcut to get you to Canada right away, but eventually takes you back to the express entry or towards other pathways to permanent residency. Bottom line, if you really need to be in Canada right away, then go for student pathway. But if you have no reason to be in Canada right away and you're willing to wait for about a year or more, then stick to express entry. Probable reasons why you might need to be in Canada right away is probably you have parents or siblings who are already here and you can't wait for another year or two to reunite with them. Or you're an overseas worker with enough savings and you can't wait to start a new life here in Canada. So why not take the student pathway, right? So what are the pros and cons of going straight to express entry? First is express entry is the fastest pathway to permanent residency. Express entry is said to be the fastest way to becoming a permanent resident here in Canada. It also doesn't require you to have a job offer as long as you have a high CRS score. This is your fast track to becoming a permanent resident. No need to go back to being a student, especially if studying is not really your cup of tea, right? Right? But it's not the fastest way to come to Canada. Becoming a permanent resident through express entry takes time. For me and my husband, we waited for a total of two years. So if you want to come to Canada right away, express entry isn't your best option. You can't come and move to Canada until you have your PR visa. It is better that you take the student pathway than go straight to express entry if your priority is coming here right away. 
Another advantage is that Express Entry leads you directly to your final destination. Whether it's Express Entry or Student Pathway, we know that eventually your final destination is to becoming a Canadian permanent resident. So when you take the Express Entry, there's no stopover. Once you have your PR visa, you can come to Canada and finally call this home. So it is better for you to go to Express Entry than take the Student Pathway if your priority is coming to Canada as a full-pledged permanent resident. However, Express Entry is full of obstacle courses, taking the IELTS, getting a PNP, saving up for the proof of funds, obtaining employment certificates. These are just among that I consider the roadblocks when you take the Express Entry. During our two-year waiting time for our PR visa, my husband and I had our fair share of our own challenges. The waiting itself can be agonizing. But this isn't say that the student pathway is a smooth course. There are still roadblocks to face. What are the pros and cons of taking the student pathway? Express entry is the fastest pathway to becoming a Canadian permanent resident, but it's not the fastest route. The student pathway is the shortcut if you want to come to Canada right away. As I already said, if your priority is to come here urgently, it is better to take the student pathway than go to straight to express entry. Your stay in Canada is temporary. When you come here as an international student, you can only live here as long as your study permit and work permit is still valid. If you take the student pathway, your stay in Canada is at the mercy of your postgraduate work permit. If your PGWP is valid for three years, which you get after you graduate from a two-year program, you need to leave Canada once it expires, unless you've been granted an extension or you're already a permanent resident by then. So here in Canada, if you come as an international student in three years, more or less, you'll hopefully become a permanent resident. Another advantage, an international student, you can bring your family with you. If you're married and you don't want to be on an LDR or long distance relationship with your husband or wife, then he or she can come with you and work here in Canada. That's possible through the student pathway. Your partner can get an open work permit, which means he or she can legally work anywhere here in Canada. And if you have kids, they can go to public elementary and high schools for free. That's right, you don't need to worry about the tuition fees. Public education here is free even for temporary residents like kids of international students. However, you're not entitled to any government benefits. Government benefits like the Canada Child Benefit and public health insurance are for permanent residents and citizens only. So if you're coming here as an international student, your family won't get any of that. Another advantage is that being in a student pathway program, it means that you get more chances of winning or becoming a permanent resident. We know that Express Entry is a point-based system that uses the CRS or Comprehensive Ranking System. Both Canadian College Education and Work Experience are CRS Core Boosters. A job offer and a provincial nomination are also CRS score boosters, especially PNP which weighs a whopping 600 points when you're an international student graduate. You're a few steps away or closer to this too. And lastly, you're not limited to express entry or PNPs. There are other immigration programs in Canada specifically for international student graduates. You can look it up and see it for yourself. So if you want to actually have more points in your Express Entry CRS score, it is better for you to take the Student Pathway. Unfortunately, Student Pathway has its own obstacle courses as well. Express Entry is full of obstacle courses, but it doesn't mean that the Student Pathway is free from them. In fact, set of challenges too, especially if you're bringing your kids with you. One of the most crucial one you need to be prepared of is how you juggle your studies and your responsibilities at home. And lastly, even though you have a higher chance of becoming a peer through student pathway, there's still no 100% guarantee. So you have to be prepared to face these challenges, despite not knowing if you're actually going to be a permanent resident later on. So which one is better than the other, Express Entry or Student Pathway? From what we've already talked about, going straight to Express Entry versus taking the Student Pathway have their own pros and cons. And your choice will depend on your situation and long-term goals and what challenges you're more willing to face. But don't forget that Express Entry and Student Pathway are not parallel roads that leads to the final toll gate, which is the entry point to becoming a Canadian permanent resident. Unlike Express Entry, the student pathway is not an 
immigration program, it's also not an alternative route from express entry. It's just a detour you can take and then in the end, you still need to exit the express entry highway to become a permanent resident. But unlike driving straight to express entry, in the student pathway, you can take another exit to eventually become a PR. Since Canada has other immigration programs for international student graduates plus your chance of getting a job offer, you're not stuck with this uber competitive express entry. You can still become a permanent resident through other immigration programs. So I hope I was able to answer your questions somehow about these two pathways. If you like this episode, please give this video a thumbs up. For those who are new, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button to get updated of my latest episodes. See you then. Thank you so much. You have a good day.